Hello everybody, in this video we will continue playing and learning in the same time Python. So let's start with this new level. So we'll use we'll choose which type we will attack and which we will not So we'll have to attack the thrower as well as the munchkin. But it's a bell. We don't attack. And if it's an okay, we run away to the village gate. So if enemy in that type is equal to the thrower, then we will attack. We will attack this enemy. If it's an ugly. If it's an ugly, we will move to the X mark, the black mark there in the village. So if the enemy type he will move and give the coordinates of the black X mark 41, 48 so let's submit when he sees a bird he says I'm not attacking a bird he does not attack the thrower yes there is a problem in the line 16 and it is shown that we can't attack using a string so well yes we should use enemy instead of thrower because thrower is only the type of this enemy but when we want to attack we will attack this enemy because its name is the enemy and its type is whatever pearl or thrower or munchkin so it's working when we see it is moving away running away I need to shoot. So let's play the next one. So when using if enemy is returned zero it if there is no enemy and one or two falls if there is an enemy. So let's start and we're using a function and this function nearest enemy distance finds out the distance to this enemy. 
So here we find the nearest enemy. The result is equal to zero. Because if there is no enemy, then the distance, there is no distance. And if there is an enemy, the result is equal to the hero that distance to enemy. And return from this function result. Because we are interested in the result, which is the distance to the, en to the enemy, from the hero to the enemy. So in dust inside the wall tool, we call enemy distance equal nearest enemy distance. So we'll find, we'll use the function, he'll find the nearest enemy, then if there is an enemy, he'll find out the distance to this enemy and put it in the variable enemy distance. If enemy distance greater than zero, that means there is an enemy, because if there isn't, it will be equal to zero. So he says the distance and the friend attacks. So this is it for this level. Let's move to the next one. We have to defeat enemies. We can distinguish ogres by their type. some traps and for munching I can defeat them by my heel so we'll use a function deal enemy so it defines the hero's behavior about enemies We have to attack munchkins, call brawlers, and ignore birds. And so, one by one, we do. So, attack the munchkins and call the problems and ignore the birds we don't have to do anything just leave it so this is the function that define which enemy we are dealing with so we call it deal enemy so to call the problem we will say oh enemy plus enemy dash id which we'll call it by its name its id so while loop find the nearest enemy if there is an enemy let's deal with enemy and let's submit so for as we can see he calls the problems and defeat other ones and they call they call them by their ID. So this is it for this level and we are at our end of this video and see you the next time.